What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you the Purple Worm. A uh, couple really good Purple Worm models out there. This particular one that I'm going to be working with is by Gale Force 9. So it actually, um, I primed it in black as you can see. It comes in four parts actually. So here's the base, um, the midsection, and the um, upper portion is actually two parts, which is going to make getting into the mouth um, really, really, uh, really easy. But before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Now subscribing is easier than ever. You just pop that little beholder in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and that'll be a shortcut to your subscription. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna begin by painting the flesh with a layer of heavy violet. As a base on the underbelly and spikes, I'm going to be using Rhinox Hide. I'm going to be using the same heavy violet on the inside of the mouth as well. And for a base coat on the teeth, I'm going to be using Mornfang Brown. I'm going to go ahead now and add some purple worm to the heavy violet and start applying some mid-tone highlights going up the flesh.
Now taking some khaki and mixing it with the rhinoxide, I'm going to be creating my own impressions on the spikes as well as the underbelly here, like so. There we go, and now I'm gonna repeat that process up the body and along the spine. All right, so there we have the finished product of that mid-tone. Now I'm gonna address the underbelly here. Now getting these spikes on the back of the upper portion of the purple worm's body. I'm going to go in with some bone white into the Mornfang brown and do another layer on the teeth. This time I'm going about three quarters of the way up the tooth and working my way down to the point. I'm also going to continue that process on the teeth inside the mouth and on the lower half of the jaw as well. Now adding some ruddy skin to the heavy violet mix, I'm going to be putting a mid-tone inside the mouth on the gums. Going in here on a near to max highlight with purple worm all by itself. And you can see I'm trying to keep this to the lower third of each scale.
giving a max highlight to the spikes and underbelly with khaki all by itself. And as you can see here, just like the plates, I stuck to the lower third of the spikes and I'm gonna be repeating the process up the body and up the underbelly. Going back into the gums with a pure ruddy skin and touching some of the more raised areas inside the mouth. After adding some more bone white to the Mornfang brown mix, I'm going to be adding a near to max highlight on the teeth. This is going about halfway up the teeth. Now I've added some squid pink to the purple worm mix, and I'm gonna be using this as a max highlight. Going up along only the plates that are facing the light. So if you're looking at the spine of the purple worm, they would be the left hand plates. And for a max highlight inside the mouth, I've added some fair skin to the ruddy skin. 
again, I'm going to be picking out only the most prominent areas. Now for a max highlight on the teeth, I'm using a pure bone white going up only the lower quarter of each tooth. So definitely the lower quarter meaning towards the point. Now to kind of zip up all the colors inside the mouth, I'm using a very diluted velvet ink. And what the ink will do is help to really blend all the various colors in the gums together and make them look a little bit more cohesive. Now I'm ready to glue the upper portion of the purple worm together so there's a couple nice little notches in here where the gums are able to fit in i'm just going to go ahead and fit those gums right in there and i also applied a little bit to the um to the rim of the lower half and i'm just going to hold this together for about 30 seconds or so and this should be nice and glued Same treatment to the lower part of the torso. There's a little notch uh, right at the tip of the spine. And I'm also going to be using some glue on the rim of the connecting piece here. And again, just holding it and waiting for the glue to adhere. So I based the base here in a layer of stonewall gray, and now I'm going to be applying some heavy brown around the broken earth, as you'll see. And with that done, I'm gonna be applying a layer of black wash all around the base. Now that the wash is dry, I'm gonna be doing an all over dry brush with stonewall gray. Now that the dry brush is done, I'm going to be hitting this base with a layer of sepia wash. And the last order of business, is gonna go over the entire base with a final dry brush of bone white. All right, there we have it, The Purple Worm by Gale Force 9 Really hope you enjoyed it. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.